Hi everybody and welcome back to Nan with a Backpack. Today we have got a really exciting comparison going on. I'm going to compare the Sea to Summit hanging wash bag, the small and the large size, because I've had a wash bag that rolls the off spray one and I haven't been able to put much in it because as soon as you try and roll it, it just doesn't work. And I also travel with a electric toothbrush and I'm finding it hard to fit it all in the one bag. And going forward, I just thought, I want a bag where I can have all my toiletries in one bag together. I wasn't sure on the sizes of the two Seed to Summit, so I've ordered both and we're gonna take a look together to decide whether which one's right for me, which one's right for you going forward. So let's jump right in. Here is the overview of the small bag. This is a compact bag, perfect for those of you that like to travel light. I'm not sure it's gonna be big enough for me. It feels really good. It's got lots of pockets and it's made from really durable materials. There is a shatterproof mirror, which comes with it. It's a little fiddly, but that will be very, very useful. It also has a little internal pocket and it feels quite waterproof as well. Turning it over, there is a handy carry strap, which is very sturdy and a back pocket, which will be very useful for different items. Right, okay, so let's go into some of the pros of the bag. It's definitely compact in size, great for minimalists. It feels quite durable as well, so hopefully it will last. Lots of compartments, which is good for organisation. Right, cons of the bag, let's have a little look here limited i don't think i'm going to fit all my toiletries in but if you travel lighter then you should be okay but now let's move on to the large hanging toiletry bag so if you're someone who tends to bring a bit more with you on your travels this might be a better fit for you it's a very spacious design actually and it'll accommodate a lot more items I still like the fact that it's got the hanging hook to hang it up. Great for those longer trips. And to be honest, I want a toiletry bag where I can have all my toiletries in one place. So I'm beginning to think that the larger one will suit me better personally. Cons being, it is a larger bag and it is quite a bit larger than the smaller one. Both the small and the large are exactly the same design. The small wash bag's measurements are 40 by 23 by 6 centimetres. The measurements of the large wash bag are 52 by 25 times 8 centimetres. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison to help you decide which one is right for you. As you can see, there is a quite a large difference between the two sizes and my decision is I've decided to go for the larger one the smaller one is lovely and I wish I could fit everything in but I had a travel size toothbrush this would be great but I've decided to go for this one because not only can I fit all my toiletries in I can also fit my first aid kit because it's not fully packed it does squash down quite small as well and in the back here, I have got a dedicated place for my toothbrush and toothpaste. So if I just need to go and clean my teeth, I don't have to root through and unpack the entire bag to get to it. I can just keep them completely separate in the back of the wash bag so that I know exactly where it is. So for me, I've decided to go for the Cita Summit hanging toiletry bag, large size. So there you have it, small and large hanging toiletry bags. Whether you're a light packer or someone who likes to have all the comforts of home on the road, Cita Summit has you covered. Consider your travel style and the length of your trips and your packing preferences to make the right choice for you. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more travel tips, gear reviews, and hit the notification bell as well so you never miss an update. Safe travels, and I'll catch you in the next one.